Why overweight and obesity? Even a few extra pounds can affect your health and life more than you may think. A lack of energy balance most often causes overweight and obesity. Energy balance means that your energy in equals your energy out. Energy in is the amount of energy or calories you get from food and drinks. Energy out is the amount of energy your body uses for things like breathing, digesting, and being physically active. To maintain a healthy weight, your energy in and out don't have to balance exactly every day. It's the balance over time that helps you maintain a healthy weight. The same amount of energy in and energy out over time, weight stays the same. More energy in than energy out over time, weight gain, more energy out than energy in over time, weight loss. Overweight and obesity happen over time when you take in more calories than you use. An inactive lifestyle, many people aren't very physically active. One reason for this is that many people spend hours in front of TVs and computers doing work, schoolwork, and leisure activities. In fact, more than two hours a day of regular TV viewing time has been linked to overweight and obesity. Other reasons for not being active include relying on cars instead of walking, fewer physical demands at work or at home because of modern technology and conveniences, and lack of physical education classes in schools. People who are inactive are more likely to gain weight because they don't burn the calories that they take in from food and drinks. An inactive lifestyle also raises your risk for coronary heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, colon cancer, and other health problems. Our environment doesn't support healthy lifestyle habits, in fact, it encourages obesity. Lack of neighborhood sidewalks and safe places for recreation. Not having area parks, trails, sidewalks, and affordable gyms makes it hard for people to be physically active. People often say that they don't have time to be physically active because of long work schedules. Exposed to huge food portions in restaurants, fast food places, gas stations, movie theaters, supermarkets, and even at home. Some of these meals and snacks can feed two or more people. Eating large portions means too much energy in. Over time, this will cause weight gain if it isn't balanced with physical activity. Lack of access to healthy foods such as fresh fruits and vegetables. Healthy foods are too costly. Often children are the targets of advertising for high-calorie, high-fat snacks and sugary drinks. Genes have a strong influence on the person's weight. Overweight and obesity tend to run in families. Chances of being overweight are greater if one or both of your parents are overweight or obese. Genes may affect the amount of fat you store in your body and where on your body you carry the extra fat. Families also share food and physical activity habits. A link exists between genes and the environment. Children adopt the habits of their parents. A child who has overweight parents who eat high-calorie foods and are inactive will likely become overweight too. If the family adopts healthy food and physical activity habits, the child's chance of being overweight or obese is reduced. Some hormone problems cause overweight and obesity. Underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, Cushing's syndrome, and polycystic ovarian syndrome. Hypothyroidism is a condition in which the thyroid gland doesn't make enough thyroid hormone. Lack of thyroid hormone will slow down your metabolism and cause weight gain. Cushing's syndrome is a condition in which the body's adrenal glands make too much of the hormone cortisol. Cushing's syndrome also can develop if a person takes high doses of steroids for long periods. People who have Cushing's syndrome gain weight, have upper body obesity, a rounded face, fat around the neck, and thin arms and legs. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a condition that affects about 5 to 10 percent of women of childbearing age. Women who have polycystic ovarian syndrome often are obese, have excess hair growth, and have reproductive problems and other health issues. These problems are caused by high levels of hormone called androgens. 
certain medicines may cause you to gain weight. These medicines include some corticosteroids, antidepressants, and seizure medicines. These medicines can slow the rate at which your body burns calories, increase your appetite, or cause your body to hold on to extra water. All of these factors can lead to weight gain. Some people eat more than usual when they're bored, angry, or stressed. Over the time, overeating will lead to weight gain and may cause overweight or obesity. Some people gain weight when they stop smoking. Food often tastes and smells better after quitting smoking. Nicotine raises the rate at which your body burns calories, so you burn fewer calories when you stop smoking. But smoking is a serious health risk, and quitting is more important than possible weight gain. As you get older, you tend to lose muscle, especially if you are less active. Muscle loss can slow down the rate at which your body burns calories. If you don't reduce your calorie intake as you get older, you may gain weight. Midlife weight gain in women is mainly due to aging and lifestyle. Many women gain about 5 pounds during menopause and have more fat around the waist than before. During pregnancy, women gain weight to support their baby's growth and development. After giving birth, some women find it hard to lose the weight. This may lead to overweight or obesity, especially after a few pregnancies. Lack of sleep increases the risk of obesity. With each hour of sleep lost, the odds of becoming obese shoots up. Lack of sleep increases the risk of obesity in all age groups. People who sleep fewer hours also seem to prefer eating foods that are higher in calories and carbohydrates, which can lead to overeating, weight gain, and obesity. Sleep helps maintain a healthy balance of the hormones that make you feel hungry, ghrelin, or full, leptin. When you don't get enough sleep, your level of ghrelin goes up and your level of leptin goes down. This makes you feel hungrier than when you are well rested. Sleep also affects how your body reacts to insulin, the hormone that controls your blood sugar level. Lack of sleep results in a higher than normal blood sugar level which may increase your risk for diabetes. Thank you.